You know, you've been listening to our videos long enough. You know I absolutely love history. Here's a little bit more. Mario Marola was a city councilman who was one of two councilmen that legislated Administrative Code 12 126. You see, Mario was an attorney, went to NYU. Uh, he he served as a attorney for the city of New York for DOI. And then he became the district attorney for the borough of, of the Bronx. He later then became city councilman. Um, from 1964 to 72, he was elected to two terms. And guess what other position he held? Chair of the Finance Committee. So not only was he an attorney, chair of the Finance Committee, he also drafted Administrative Code 12 126 that grants every employee, retiree, and their dependent health care to be paid by the city up to the HIP HMO benchmark. He was chair of finance. Do you know who else in the city is a councilman and is chair of the finance committee? Councilman Justin Brannan, who told our members that there was nothing he can do, that our bill is probably legal, illegal, and that there's no money in the budget. I understand you're not an attorney, Councilman Brannan. However, if you knew your history, and you questioned what was being told to you, you would recognize that 12-126 was legislated after the Taylor Law, after New York City Collective Bargaining Law, written by an attorney, passed by a council, amended dozens of times from 1967 forward, including the last provision in 2001, done by Mary Pinkett and Peter Vallone, who the mayor at the time was Mayor Rudy Giuliani, who was also an attorney, who recognized that OMB, who was pulling the strings on the deal, to say that the bill was illegal and violated Taylor and the collective bargaining was a lie. And he personally orchestrated an override of his veto that he made at the request of OMB and OLR. Today, we still have those same kind of bad actors. OLR, under the auspice of Robert Lynn, working as a consultant for $500 an hour, in retirement, and Ken Godner, the deputy director of OMB, telling the council that there's no money in the budget, that there's a hole in the budget. The only holes that there are are in their heads. And then Justin Brannon's not being able to find money in the budget after it's been codified in law for almost 60 years. History. Because if you don't know your history, then you'll believe a council speaker telling you that the bill's illegal without providing you any proof. Or you'll believe OMB telling you there's no money in the budget when money has been codified and required since the law was written by a councilman who is the chair of finance, who was also an attorney. <laughs> Have a great night.